Welcome. Welcome Facebook and welcome Instagram. Welcome to Dixie Ball Paint's main Facebook page and main Instagram page. Thank you guys for being here and thank y'all for being patient. It is 10 after 7 and for 10 minutes we have been having technical difficulties with the internet connection but we have no idea why. On every device possible. We have three devices going right now. So anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of your time with that. Please say hello when you come on. Thank you for being here tonight. We are going to continue on this green beast um, that we worked on last week together um, on St. Patrick's Day. And uh, tonight we are, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've done to it so far in the interim. I really, really held off um, so that I could continue this with y'all. And then I also have a class coming up this Saturday in one of my private groups, and I'm going to be doing transfers on top of it for them. So I was trying to get it prepared for that class. So um, do we have people that have joined us? There's no comments, but yes, we have 136 people on. So okay, so strangely we can't see comments. I'm not <laughs> surprised. Um, please, please, actually I'm going to go around the back real quick and leave a comment and see sometimes that can get us started. Um, let's see. Let me, hello, send, there we go, sometimes that'll let us, sometimes that'll get us going, okay. we'll see, we shall see, okay, so Matt will let me know if comments come up, how about on Instagram? Uh, we have some folks on Instagram, yay, from Saskatchewan, Canada. From Saskatchewan. Hello there. Thank you for joining us tonight. Look. Okay, so what we did last week is we did every single green that Dixie Ball had and we put it on this piece. We started at the top or maybe did we start at the top or bottom and we worked our way down and I came back to it and I said, whoa, that is a mess. That's a hot mess. So I broke it down. Um, I chose three greens, three out of all the ones that we had and I repainted and re-softened and made just three greens. So, so far, if they can see from top to bottom map, we have got um, these three colors right here. We've got kudzu, tree frog green, and collard green. So I've got collard greens is what you see down around the bottom. It probably looks almost black too. It's kind of a smoky, a smoky roasted green color. Um, that's what I have going around on the bottom. This middle part here is kudzu green, which is the brightest green from Dixie Belle. And then this right here is kudzu, which is this top section that kind of lightens up this middle. This is taped off right here. I did do a little bit of pink already on the inside, but not the backboard because we're gonna replace that backboard. But I did do the inside walls that have one coat of the pink on them already, which I think looks really good because that's gonna go with the transfer. Once we take this off and it'll be glass and you'll be able to see that pink on the inside. Can you tell the difference between this side and this side? Do we have comments yet? They're not feeding it. Ah, uh, so frustrating. You know that we'll go back and watch the live. I'm trying to reconnect because I had to move. Yeah, we'll go back and watch the live and it'll say that we had comments. Um, anyway, can you see the difference between this one here and this side here? What I've done is I've used Voodoo Gel Stain, which is this product right here. It comes in these squeeze bottles. It's like an old-fashioned ketchup or mustard bottle. This is Voodoo Gel Stain. It comes in seven colors, and it is a water-based stain. So Dixie Belle also has no paint gel stain, which is oil-based stains. But these are the water-based stains, and it comes in seven colors. There's white and black and gray and brown and like a teal color. There's also a mossy green color, um, and there's a blue, a really pretty denim color blue. This is a great stain to use. It's, it's uh, no VOCs. It's a uh, super, super clean product. It's water-based. It washes off easily. It doesn't stain your hands. It doesn't get under your nails. Um, it dries really fast. It dries in about 15 minutes. It can be used on raw wood, painted wood. It can be used over paint, which is what we're gonna do tonight. And I am going to show you guys how to whitewash with Voodoo Gel Stain in white. Um, this side has not been touched, and that's the side that we're gonna whitewash. This side right here. Facebook's still frozen. Oh, we haven't gotten back off on Facebook? No. Hmm. Nope, don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm just gonna keep going on Instagram. <laughs> Okay. Uh, sorry you guys um, okay so this side over here uh, has been whitewashed and you can see that it's just sort of toned down the green on this side super bright and super kind of in your face and hard don't move that phone 
And this one over here is white. It's sort of got a cloudy aged look on it, almost like a salt wash look. Um, and then you can see where it's settled in around all of the edges right here as well. So that's what I'm gonna do on this side too. I want, if y'all will give me just a minute, I'm gonna see if I can get us back on. You're with, back on Facebook and now the comments are coming through. Yay, we have comments. Okay, don't move, Matt, don't move them. Okay, don't move them. All right, so let's do this. Um, actually, let me show you, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So let me move this cabinet, let me roll it around. And show you now this side has not been whitewashed but it has been blended I did blend the collard greens into the bottom of the cabinet so can you tilt the Facebook down babe so that they can see um, that this has been blended down right here down into collard greens Instagram I'm pretty sure cannot see that so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so what you see there I'm going to do on the other side. We're going to do that together. Oh, we got all the... And what's behind door number two? And what's behind door number three? <laughs> so let's do this. We're going to spin it. Can't you be able to do that? It's... All right. The you know what, guys? So big, I can only get about half of it in the shop. Well, we'll I back. tell you what. We are just going to... We're just going to video gel tank. That was my main goal anyway. I wanted to do a little bit of blending with y'all on the sides, but because we're having internet issues, I don't want him to move our cameras that we have on. I don't even want him to move them. Can y'all tell we're stressed? There we go. All better. This does need to be shaken really well um, because it does settle in the bottom. So I want to make sure that we shake it. I've got it really well. I think I got a little bit on my shirt, but it yeah. is water based, so it will come out. Um, so I'm going to squeeze this into, I just have a bowl here. You can put it on a plate into a bowl. You can see it coming out. Uh, it's very, very, it's almost like thin paint. So I'm going to squeeze this into this bowl, and all you need is a brush. And you can use a sponge to apply it. I'm going to use a Mr. Bottle. I use a lot of water when I use this. And I am going to make that side look like this side. So Facebook, I think y'all were frozen earlier, but this side over here has been whitewashed. Yes, and we are not getting comments anymore. Oh, our comments went away. We got one comment from Connie Oliver in Waco, and that was it. <laughs> that was it. Well, we're just going to paint anyway. I've got, I just washed all of my brushes, so I've got a bucket full of brushes. And let me get started here. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Um... I'm going to use, what brush am I going to use? I'm just going to use one of my minis, and it doesn't really matter. Spray bottle, Voodoo Gel Stain. That's all you need. But you will need something to wipe back with. So I've got a cloth here that I'm just going to wipe back with, and I'm going to spray this really well. You could, some people use baby wipes. Um, use a towel. Just something that uh, you can dampen to kind of pull back some of the excess stain. You can also just use water and keep spraying until you get it the way you like it, all right? Okay, so I'm going to spray this first just a little bit, just kind of dampen this area a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead, and you don't have to be afraid of not using too much. You know how wax, if you use, okay, there's also white wax, and there's also white paint, right? And you know how if you use wax, uh, the chalk mineral paint is super grabby. It's frozen on Facebook again. Uh, the white paint is the white wax is super grabby. Um, you don't have to worry about it here. This does dry really fast, so you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. But what I do is I just keep it wet. I just keep wetting it, just like this. I want to get it down in all the edges. It's going to start dripping a little bit. I'm okay with that. Just spray it down, and then I'm just going to go with my cloth here. And I'm just going to kind of wipe off some of it. Now you can wipe. You can rub in different directions. It's got a super natural look. You can kind of rub it into the paint a little bit. And then you can step back. Because we want this side to match that side. You'll just kind of step back. And if you still have too much in a certain area, you just spray it down a little bit more. And then it just continues to wipe off. You can go back, you can layer with this, you can go back and add a little bit more. It's too white there in the middle. But I want to leave it around the edges like that. 
I do want to leave that. And let's say I do this side and I like that it's a little bit heavier. I can go over to the other side, stand back and make a match. Can just add to the other. So here we go, I'm gonna keep moving down the middle. I'm not gonna worry too much about this being perfect because we're actually gonna put a transfer over that in just a minute. We're gonna put a transfer over it um, on the other side over there. But I do wanna whiten it, uh, tone it down just a little bit here. Feels weird to not have comments coming in. I'm so used to questions. This feels really weird. Still no comments, babe? Uh, we're still frozen on Facebook, but some of some people have moved over to moved over to Instagram. Are you serious? Y'all you guys all came over from Facebook over to Instagram. Thank you. Thank you, so, thank you. I can see a couple of comments on Instagram. Okay. But it's super condensed, so it's very hard to see. Um, is this sealed or unsealed? The piece is unsealed. So that's what I was saying about the white wax. You know how we worry, you know, that the wax is super grabby and you need to seal your piece. You don't have to worry about it with this. You just put it on, keep spraying it. My paint is unsealed. You've got your water bottle, something to wipe it down with. How long do you have to wait uh, and let the paint dry before you do this? Um, well, you are going to be rubbing the paint a lot. And I will say that this paint has been here for several days. Um, I would give it... If you're going to be light-handed and you're just working on a small area at a time, as long as your paint is dry to the touch, it would be okay. But uh, if you keep rubbing, you will take, you will reactivate your paint. This I'm not worried about reactivating because it's been, it's been dry for several days already. Can you do that with white paint or just still gel stain? You can do it with white paint as well. You can do watered-down white paint and do this. The gel, this gel stain has a, uh, the Voodoo gel stain has. Um, a little bit more playtime than the white paint, than the watered down white paint. So I'm going to stand back a little bit. It's just softening the, the green. And this looks good over any color, y'all. You can put it over, we're going to do it down here on the bottom um, over this collard green. And it'll really tone down your blacks. It'll tone down any of your brighter jewel tone colors. And just gives it sort of an aged five. So let's go down here to the bottom and do this area over color greens. I'm going to go ahead and spray that. And put this on like so. Now this is damp because I added a lot of water, but the gel stain itself is dry within about 15 minutes and it does not, can they see me on Instagram? Down here, babe? Yes. Uh, it does not need to be sealed, you guys. You can, if you like the, you're gonna end up with a very flat finish, but if you're okay with that, that's good. If you wanna add a top coat to it, you can add a top coat to it. Um, it looks really, really good over raw wood. So any of you, do, any of you that do projects like, uh, oh, like the, uh, what are those round things? The Lazy Susans that go in the middle of tables. If you do Lazy Susans or cheese boards or anything like that, you can use the Voodoo Gel Stains. It's a really clean product. And then seal them with the hemp oil. And uh, you can use those for uh, food products. Can you mention the three paints, the colors of green that you use? Yeah, you don't like them? You like them? They are, this is kudzu up here in the top. The lighter is kudzu. The brighter green is tree frog green. And this down here at the bottom that looks black is not black. It's collard green. It's a very smoky, dark, smoky green. They're asking some good questions. Y'all are just, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm just going to say they're so sweet to... Come go find us on Instagram. What kind of top coat do you recommend if you put that on bare wood? Uh, hemp oil. If you want to use it for like a food grade or something like that. But if you're wanting to use it where, uh, if it's going to be outdoors or a sign, like a plank wood sign, and you're going to put the gel, uh, the voodoo gel stain, oh my gosh, y'all, the denim blue, tobacco road, uh, up in smoke, those colors are gorgeous and it's sheer. So it lets the wood grain come through. Um, and then seal it with gator hide. You can use those outdoors. Um, that would work really well outside. Actually, hemp oil works well for outdoors too, to be honest. Okay, so a lot of this, you guys remember, is going to have uh, 
I haven't done this part in the middle. A lot of this is going to have a transfer and stencils over it. I haven't done that middle part. <clears throat> but anyway, I think I'll save the middle part for later. So this lets you guys see that. It really softened it up. Looks pretty close to this side over here. But we're going to go ahead and move over to the right-hand side. And we're going to apply a transfer. Moving over here. <laughs> over here. Thank you. Okay. So let's see. We are going to use, I haven't used this one. This is the lace transfer. This is the lace transfer. I haven't used it yet. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm going to be layering transfers because I'm going to use several transfers on this piece. But I want to use a little bit of lace and put this on with you guys. Um, and then we can use some gold mousse and get kind of a vibe for what this door is going to look like right here. So this is the... I haven't really even opened this one up much at all. I think it's white. I think it's white. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. It just says lace. Four sheets design size lace. And I saw it on a couple of the other brand ambassador pieces. It looks gray on the tube. Yeah. But I think I think it's white. Let's see. It even looks gray on here. But I swear when it goes on, it looks. It, when you peel the backing off. It looks white. So let's see. Let us see. I did not do any of this ahead of time. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to. Do we have my little stick? My little uh, stick. No, but I can get one for you. Hold on. Can you find one? Hold on. All right. So Matt, if you will find me the scissors. All right, so what I'm going to do is hold this up here. I only want this transfer to be on the raised part of the panel. So I'm using my, thank you, babe. I'm using my uh, rubbing stick that you use to release this transfer. I'm actually using it to make a crease so that I can sort of pre-cut my pattern. So I'm just use, rubbing it right along the edge of that raised stencil. Let's see. This. You see that? And then when I turn it over on the back side, I can see an indention. So that's what I'm going to do all the way across. It's really important to get your first piece on just right. These are actually numbered. Do y'all see this? This says number one in the corner. It's got a very small number one. That means this is the first panel of four. And then if you put number two, if you butt number two up against it, um, top or side, it will match up. So they did number them for us. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this over and the light makes it kind of hard to see, but. I'm gonna go down to the floor, you guys. Gonna follow this line. I really can't see it very well, but maybe close enough. Like that. And this one is right here. It won't be perfect, but I just cannot see it. These lights, they reflect off the paper so much. Okay, that's, that should be good enough. All right, so pretty good. It's not perfect, but good enough. And this will go up here to the top. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so now you just remove your the back of the paper. And we'll see what color this is in just a, in just a hot minute here. We're gonna put this up here at the top. Like so. Yeah, go. Instagram's a whole different animal on the comment section. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now I am <clears throat> going to just rub that. Reconnecting. All right, we're back. All right, so Throws with the transfers, you've got this wooden stick, and you just want to rub everywhere, just like this. Now, some of the transfers are super, super easy to apply because they are, they are one solid transfer. Like, 
Alice in Wonderland, babe, will you go get the tray for me? The, the Alice in Wonderland tray. Like the Alice in Wonderland trays that I do have Alice on sitting on a, 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 a upholstered chair. That transfer is really easy to use. This transfer, super easy to use. It, it's one solid piece. So once you get it to release, it'll just peel away really easily. Transfers that you get that have a lot of stems or twigs or script, transfers with a lot of words and script, um, those tend to be a little bit more difficult to release because they're all separated. This one, I'm not sure if it's one piece or separated, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. I'm gonna start lifting. And we're gonna find out what color it is. <laughs> Sometimes you'll have these little extras that don't fit right on there and that's okay. Um, the best way to get these to release is to be right in front of it and rub right up against where you're pulling, just like that. You almost rub into that extra paper there. So we're gonna leave that. Oh, it is, it's white. Surprise, surprise, it looks gray on the tube, but it is, to me, it's white. Maybe it's a really light gray. So this one's definitely a little bit more intricate. Everything's a little bit separate. So you wanna take your time. And once you have a lot of paper released, you can even go back and cut, like I could go back and cut this piece of paper off if I felt like it started to get in my way. I could go back and cut that off. So I'm gonna get down here and release that. The thing about the Dixie Bell um, transfers is they stretch. So even if it lifts and comes up and it doesn't stick to your furniture right at first, it doesn't break. I mean, they just don't break. They stretch and bend and um, they don't tear, which is awesome because I've used a lot of transfers in the past that will actually tear and break and you end up saying, oh yeah, I meant for it to look like that. I'm going for a for an aged look. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really like, no, it's broken. See how pretty that is, guys? Look how good that looks. See that right there with that little extra piece is? I'll be able to just kind of peel that back and sand that off. See that? That's good. Thank you, thank you. So have y'all seen very many um, pieces with the lace transfer? I've only seen a couple. I haven't seen a lot of the ambassadors use the lace yet. I think Melissa, Melissa did top drawer um, RVA. She did a really pretty black piece. I don't know if y'all follow her on Instagram, but you should top drawer RVA. Um, she did a real pretty black piece, I believe, um, with this on the sides. And I don't think I just used it. So let me have the scissors. I'm going to cut this off so that you guys can see what this is looking like. Yes, Nicole says it's lots of work, very intricate. It is very intricate. Five and dime, first time seeing this transfer. Is it? I, you know, I don't think that they sent it to me at first. It wasn't one of the initial, I, we got uh, some before they were released. And I don't think that they sent me any in that batch because I try to use everything that they send me so that I can, you know, show you guys what's available. Um, but this last load that they sent me, they sent two of these. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna use that. All right, so that up there, I need to really rub hard to get. Oh, Dutch Tulip loves your instructions. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dutch Tulip. She's I like a good her. teacher. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much, because I feel like, uh, sometimes I feel like people will get bored just watching me sit here and, and rub on this, but. I, I hope that Matt's able to get a good angle on how it's easiest to release these transfers. You have to really rub into the paper that you're pulling up. You pull and rub into the paper at the exact same time. And it's kind of rough. Like, I mean, kind of rough with it. I think some people are afraid to, you know, work it really hard. But these are really, 
if you're using the Dixie Bell ones, you don't really have to worry about them breaking or tearing. So can you use this on a wall? Yes, you can. You can use it on a wall. You can use it on glass. Look at all those small things I used it on. Those had nooks and crannies and bends and folds and. Yeah. <clears throat> so let, why you, why do this, right? Why go through all of this if you could just use a stencil, right? Because Dixie Belle has a stencil that's very, very similar to this. And I almost used a stencil tonight. Their damask stencil is very similar to this. Personally, I prefer a stencil, but some people do not like stencils. They'd rather, you know, sit and rub and do this. Plus, you can you get a lot of detail here. But some people really struggle with stencils. They end up with a lot of bleeding and feathering, and they they uh, they'd rather do the transfer. So it's nice to have options. It's just nice to have options. I like it all. I like all of it. Um, something else I was just thinking about. Oh, do you see how I'm going in different directions? It's just because my arm is tired. <laughs> like I rub up and down and then I need to go this way for a while. And then I'm like, okay, my bicep's starting. So let's go this way for a little bit. No, no real reason there. We're almost done with, with sheet one. We're almost done with sheet one. So each tube has four pages this size in it. Each tube has four pages. So it looks like we will use probably three and a half on this door, and then it'll take another tube to do the other door on the other side. All right, so we only have this little bit here that I need to sand. I'll have to get that with a little tiny piece of sandpaper. But look, oh, I have this up here. Let me trim this off too. This was the top. Um, Went right over the edge. I just trim that up. A little pair of cuticle scissors works really well, by the way, guys. There we go. Let's fold it over there a little bit, but I probably will just pull that off. You know, you can't get too worked up about the little things, guys. People, when they're standing back and they're looking at your gorgeous piece. Okay, we're done, baby. You can back up a little bit. Uh, when they're looking at your gorgeous piece overall, they're not looking and going, oh. Oh my gosh, she had a tiny little piece of that white part pulled away there. You just can't get upset about it. You just move on, you know? So doesn't that look good? I'm calling it white. I'm calling it white. Um, so let's see, what time is it? Uh, real quick, I want to show you something that I am going to do. I'm going to trim this out in gold all the way around. Um, and this is also going to have a wood you bend on top of it. It's going to have a lot of product on this piece. So this is the Dixie Belle Gemstone Mousse, and I like to use this to trim, um, to work on trim. And, but the thing is, it takes a good three or four days to fully cure before you can really put a brush a top coat over it. So what we have found is a little trick. So I have these little medicine cups, and I like to just spoon some out. Um, first of all, you have to stir it really, really well. And the silver, it's available in copper, silver, um, gold, copper, silver, gold, zinc, is that the other one? Zinc as well. Um, no, that's a wax. Bronze. Bronze. They're all different consistencies. So you want to stir it really well. And then I just put a little bit into this little medicine cup. She's a little stick. That's way more than I'll need. So did y'all see the French bed that I did? If you do not follow me on Tracy's Fancy, please go over and give me a follow on Tracy's Fancy. Um, I did a huge Cinderella bed, a very, very ornate Roco Rococo, Rococo style bed, Rococo style bed. Um, and the entire bed I did with, the entire bed I did with two of these, two small pots. Really, really good stuff. So, did y'all lose the sound? Can y'all hear us? The sound? Yeah, somebody lost sound. We've had crazy internet issues tonight. Will you open that thing? Yeah. Okay, so the trick is put a little bit of one of the top coats. I especially like the gloss. So put a little bit of the gloss top coat, just a, a little tiny bit of it, into your mm -hmm. gold seal. Let's pour a little. Can you take that lid off there? I'm going to step over here off my little wooden floor 
I'm gonna pour just a smidge of this in here. It's, it's better if you have, actually I have a dropper. Let me show y'all one of these little droppers, okay? Hold on just a sec. No, they can hear. They can hear? All right, so these little droppers, I got a little package of these off of Amazon, little syringe type dropper thing. So I'm just gonna put that in my, in there and suck some of that up. I'm just gonna add it to my mousse, just like that. And then I'm gonna stir it. And we have found that it dries as fast as the top coat normally dries and it does not smudge. You can top coat it if you want to top coat it anymore, you can top coat. The mousse doesn't require a top coat. If you put the mousse on and you let it, give it its good 48, 72 hours to dry, it seals, it's, it's self sealing. You don't have to top coat it. But a lot of people really want extra top coat for durability and they get all wrapped around the axle that, you know, it was smearing and they didn't give it time to cure. So here I'm just using a little tiny brush and I am just gonna come over here and look how pretty, I love green and gold. I think every green piece I've ever done, I end up doing with gold right here. And that is gonna get gold on it as well, but I'm gonna show you this little brush that I'm using is actually a makeup brush. It's an, a makeup brush from Target. It's a little makeup brush and it's very stubby, like super stubby and um, you have a lot of control over your detail. Just pulling that right along that line. This is going to be so pretty, and especially when I put the would you bend on top of here and do some shadowing and shading around that. And then we're going to have all of the gorgeous transfer blossom bouquet coming out around the bottom. It's going to be a stunning, stunning piece with a lot going on. That's that. So the mousse, like I said, you can use it right out of the jar. You just need to be prepared to give it a good 48 to 72 hours to, to fully cure. Or you can add a little bit of the top coat. I like to use the gloss because it really helps to maintain the shine of the mousse because this mousse has an amazing, I'm sure you can see it in the light here. It's got an amazing glam wow factor to it. Isn't it gorgeous? and it will be dry as soon as it dries and it will not smudge. You can go ahead and top coat your piece if you're impatient and you don't wanna wait. Again, it's good to have options, right? And that is that. So Voodoo Gel Stain, Gemstone Mousse, and the new Lace Transfers. Uh, your retailers may have these transfers already in stock. If you'd like to order online, these transfers will be available on April the 7th, which happens to be my birthday. That's when the transfers go live online if you're waiting for them to arrive um, on the Dixie Bell website. That's the day that they will go. If you wanna set calendars for it, um, follow along with all of us, and we will all let you know when they're live on the website as well. And this one is called Lace, Lace Transfer. And it's really pretty. I like it. I'm pleased with the selection. It looks really good. So I think that's it. Any other questions? Uh, how do you remove the mousse if you have an oops? Um, I think I use baby wipe. So if it happens quickly, like it, it'll wipe right off. Let's see. I think it'll just, let me put some right here on this little. Put some, this? Stick some right in the middle of it. Let's put some right there. I think it'll just wipe right off. Let me get my little white, my little white cloth. But I usually have baby wipes by me. Baby wipes are like magic and they just wipe things right. Yeah, it just wiped right off. See? Yep. Pretty much. Keep baby, keep baby wipes close to you. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> um, so that's that. Get you some of these little dropper doohickeys and get yourself some little pots and you can make up your own little thin. If you want it thin, thick, whatever. Mix it up. Mix it up. So that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for coming over from Facebook and joining me over here. I really appreciate it. Uh, Dixie Bell appreciates it as well. Sorry about the Facebook mess up. And um, I will see you guys next Wednesday night for 
alive. I will be done with this piece, hopefully, um, but I will have it in the shop and I can show it to y'all, and then we'll start on our piece, a new piece next week, okay? All right, we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Did I just hit live again? Is that what we did last time? I think that's what we did. Nope. Do we need to push that? Is that maybe?